Hey guys, so that was a stack of semi-valuable cards. Now I will show you the power, the awesome power, if you know what to look, what commons and uncommons to look at. So there's one set that blows every set away in terms of value, and that is Shards of Alera. Um, Shards of Alera, I mean, you have these, these are good, you have the charms, but wait, wait for it, because it's not the value in the uncommons that I care about. It's a value in these cards. So people have, there's a deck, and the deck, so I don't even have the Violent Outburst from the other pile, because it's a different pile. It's a different flea market. There's a deck, and the deck does very well. It obviously is the Cascade deck. I forget, what's that card it plays? Uh, the rare card. I have a foil version of it. But it's the Cascade deck, and the whole deck outside of that card, and a few other cards, can be made from Shards of Alera. And that is very crazy. I mean, you have the cool charms, which always trade well. Charms trade well. And then you have all these really amazing. Uh, this is for the Princess Cube. It's a very beautiful card, by the way. All, and then you even have Terminate. Look, at Terminate is worth a few dollars. Like, what? And then Maid Slayer is worth a few dollars. And then all this stuff is worth, like, I mean, not a few dollars, but you could probably do four for a dollar. And then tokens are worth some money. This entire set is like sick. When I looked at it, I was like, uh, what? So I spent about four hours going through these cards to pick out what I'm gonna show you. But well worth it because I really like the organization. Blightning was in the set. More Crisali Pride Mages. These are like a dollar or two, just from comments. So this entire set, has so many amazing comments. It has the Cascade comments, it has the Cascade uncommons, it has charms, it has the Prime Mages, which, you know, pretty much never end. The Zealous Prosecutions. This card, they only had one of those, but... And then this, the commons are just crazy. The commons are so good in this set. I didn't, when I played Charge of Alera, I don't remember them being that that amazing, but it all fits in a modern deck and cards like this, which normally would not see any play, are staples in that deck. So yeah. And then artifact lands are always very good. I got that whole pile for about $20 and that is the price of like 10 Koshali Pride Mages. And the rest of them was like free. It's like near mint, everything is perfect condition. I was extremely, extremely surprised to find so many of these valuable cards there. And they had more, they had a lot more, but I just didn't have the time. They were closing and I wanted to leave because I was hungry and they didn't have any chairs. But yeah, flea markets, I've been doing extremely well at flea markets lately and you just gotta put the time in. It is a lot of fun. It's relaxing as well. It's very, um, very relaxing. I can't explain why, but just finding something and, yo, know, I found another one of these. I found another mage sword. I found another pride mage. And yeah, you just put it in your stack and you just have, you know, stacks right next. It's very dirty there. But the cards were very clean. So as you can tell, the, no one's ever touched these cards because no one's ever played with them. So I really enjoyed going there. I'll probably go there again. I'm, I go there with my friend and we make lots of Pokemon Poke stops along the way. I'm at level 18 now. I hope I'll be at level 20 soon, but it's getting really difficult to level up. Uh, I think you need like 25,000 points to level up to get to level 19 or something, which is like a lot. So I had a lot of fun and it's just a good way to spend a weekend with friends and as well as you know pokemon pokestops right pokestops it helps that the flea market is also a pokestop and actually that explains why i'm going to the game store the friday night magic i normally don't go to the store i'm going to right now but oops i just dropped some mirage boxes uh but now i go to it because there's a pokestop and the same reason that i go to flea market because you can just level up so quickly in a pokestop anyway bye guys